Hey guys, welcome back to Medical Coding with Blue. So, finally Friday. It has been a heck of a week. And I want to thank you guys so much for being so engaging this week with questions and suggestions. I got a really awesome suggestion yesterday from a viewer. So, um, the suggestion was maybe doing like coding questions on Friday, like have me giving you guys questions to answer like over the weekend and then Monday we can discuss the answers. So I think this is a freaking fabulous idea because it's like, oh, okay, that's like the perfect way to get more engagement. So I'm going to give you guys some questions and today we're just going to do diagnosis questions and then like maybe next Friday we can do like um, procedure questions. So or like look up procedure codes. So um, I think it's gonna be a great way to get more engagement and then you guys can see like this stuff in action, right? And then we can talk about it. So we'll talk about the questions today and then we'll, we'll talk about the answers on Monday. Um, please don't put the answers that you have in the, um, descript in the um, comments below because just in case somebody else uh, looks and they wanna you know, come up with the answers, we don't want to give away <laughs> what the answer could be. Uh, so if you want, you can email me the answers, whatever answer you come up with, so that I can um, see on Monday if you are correct or not. Or we can talk about it on Monday. So I will put my email address, of course, in the description box below. And I will also include the list of questions, which today is all diagnosis questions. Um, I will put the list of questions in the description box so that way you don't have to try to hurry up and write them down as I'm speaking them. So um, how's that sound to everybody? So it sounds good to me. So, But that is a really awesome idea and I like it and we're just going to start doing that. So in addition to Countdown Monday, it'll be Answer Monday. <laughs> so Fridays will be Question Friday. Mondays will be um, Countdown Monday in addition to uh, Answer Monday. And we'll go from there. So, you ready, everybody? Everybody ready? <laughs> so, I was originally going to do just five questions. And I think th I think that's a good, good one to start with. Um, five, you know. I mean, I could always bump it up to more. If you guys want more than five questions, let me know. Um, but I did think of just one more that I wanted to include. So, I did include it. So, for our inaugural question Friday... Um, is going to be six questions. <laughs> so here we go. So on these questions, just give me the diagnoses that you think the answer would be. Okay. So um, the first one is uncontrolled diabetic type two who is on insulin and metformin. Okay. That's number one. Number two, the patient has chronic kidney disease type 2 and hypertension, okay? Or stage 2 is what I meant to say. Chronic kidney disease stage 2 with hypertension, okay? Number three, both bone mid forearm fracture on the right closed due to a slip and fall on the ice, okay? Number four, plantar fasciitis, number five, bilateral knee osteoarthritis, and number six, type one diabetic who is on insulin. Okay, so um, write down your answers. You can email them to me or uh, wait till Monday and find out the reveal of the answers. So, uh, and we'll talk about it on Monday. So, um, today was a, another swift moving day. Um, we've been having issues with the um, systems. I think it's all this horrible weather we've been having lately. So I've been a little bit behind, but I was able to catch up today. Thank goodness. Um, and, you know, of course, I was just reviewing documentation and, and everything I was seeing. And I was very excited because, as um, you may remember, I am going to be doing my coder awards in September and one particular provider is proving why he is selected for the top honor this year because um, or one of the top honors this year because of his documentation being so 
flipping awesome. So it's awesome when you see like all the work that you've put in paying off. And when you see them and they're, and they're documenting what they're supposed to, like they're supposed to, it's like, I'm just so excited. I'm, I'm like a proud mother hen <laughs> at this point. You know, I'm just really proud and just, it's awesome. But that is the nerd in me. The nerd in me was just screaming out today like, this is really cool. <laughs> so it always makes my day when I see that. So um, I don't want to make this video too short, but um, that's all I have for today. So um, unless I can think of something else. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, I can. So um, one of the viewers asked about CEUs, okay? So CEUs are not a part of your membership dues for either association, okay? CEUs or continuing education units are something that you have to earn separately um, and, a, and, and report to whichever association that you belong to. Um, every credential, every coding credential has a number, set number of continuing education units that you need to, to complete um, during your reporting time um, to maintain your credential. And it is going to depend on which credential that you have because there are so many. Um, I, I really do need to do a whole video by itself about credentials. Um, but you will know which by which credential that you have. Um, they will let you know how many continuing education units that you need to earn and what is your reporting period uh, to, to earn these continuing education units. Um, some employers offer this as a benefit of employment. So some people don't have to worry about paying for continuing, edu continuing education units. Um, sometimes you can earn them for free, depending on, on where you are. Uh, some vendors oft offer free CEU classes, and, and they'll say this is a free CEU for attending this or whatever. Um, you, can, you, you will earn continuing education units by attending a association conference. So... Um, whether it's through AHIMA or AAPC, both offer continuing education units just for attending their conference. So um, it just depends on on where you are and and which cre which credential that you have. Uh, but it's 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 really not that bad. I mean, any knowledge based profession is going to have you have to have continuing education units. This is just so that we can make sure that we stay up on the latest and greatest and the cutting edge things and and make sure that our our education is sound so that's basically all it is it's uh, really not a big deal um and and it they're very easy to earn so uh, that's not something to w really worry about and it's beneficial to you because it's usually some cool topic anyway um whether it's about your particular uh, clinic, what, whichever clinic that you are in, or if it's just something uh, that you're separately interested in. So you can earn continuing education units that way. So just something, and just another thing in this profession. <laughs> but like I said, it's really not a big deal. So, um, but if you guys have any more questions, remember we're doing Q&A Tuesdays. So you have all weekend to submit questions and anything that's on your mind uh, about the medical coding field. I will be happy to answer the best way that I can and share my decade plus uh, experience and knowledge with you guys. So if you are a medical coding student, a veteran medical coder, a provider, a nurse, or just somebody curious about the fascinating world of medical coding, please subscribe to my uh, channel and like this video. And I will see you all on Monday along with the answers. And remember, um, don't put them down in the uh, comments. Um, either email them to me or just wait till Monday. <laughs> so I will see y'all then. Have a great weekend. Bye.